Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. I wanted to post something kind of like a end of the year recap kind of thing. Um, there's a few more videos that I'm planning on filming and I'm gonna film. Um, but I wanted to kind of round off the year with something that I started with in the beginning of the year, which was the uh, this guy, the Tamron 35 to 150 uh, F2 to 2.8. Uh, this is uh, one of our better performing videos, I think, uh, for good reason. I mean, it's a, it's a very desirable lens. It's uh, fairly new and uh, there's a lot of things on it that really are unique to it. Um, the range, obviously, it was an incredible uh, feat to create a lens that has this much range, that kind of aperture range as well. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys my thoughts real quick after a year of using it, just about a year of using it, what I think of it, if my opinion on it has changed in any way, um, any drawbacks, anything like that. So this is going to be a pretty brief video. Um, it's A lot of it is going to reiterate the things that I said after about a month of using it, but this is now after an entire, almost an entire year of using it. I would say just like last time, the biggest thing is the range that it has. The range is, it's, uh, I would, I hate using the term second to none, but I mean, really, I can't think of another lens that I would prefer to have. Like I've used a 24 to 120, the F4. The F4 is what threw me off. I, I can't, in a professional setting, it just, it, I needed a little bit more light at times, too many times. The thing is, let's say you get a 24 to 120 F4 and you've never used a 2.8 lens. You're not really gonna notice a difference. But I've been using a 24 to 70 for, I mean, since 2008. So when I, you know, when I tried the 24 to 120, it just wasn't gonna work. So on that end, it has a wider uh, field of view on the wide end. So that may be a little bit more of, a little bit better. But for me, the aperture with the range, this is still a better lens. The other option, or I guess contender, would be like a 70 to 200. At that point, the 70 to 200 is a full telephoto lens. You can't really call it a wide, at, wide angle lens in any form at 70. So this has just been a really, really great year as far as the amount of photos that we've been able to deliver. Um, you know, there are times where something's happening and it's far away and it's like to capture a candid with a 24 to 70 is just not as good as let's say at 150. Um, so that's been really nice. Uh, same thing with, you know, something happening really close and uh, maybe like they're putting on the veil or something like that. And I had a 70 to 200 because I was capturing details or, or something like that. I can just turn around zoom out and go with 35 and capture a little bit of that, which is just, it's a nice, uh, option to have in your toolbox. Um, so not just to, you know, completely be on one side, the only other area where I don't really feel like it's the best would be on the dance floor. And I probably mentioned this in the previous video, the dance floor, you do need a little bit wider for several reasons. One, you want to be a little closer. Sometimes, you know, there's action that comes at you and 35 is just not quite enough. Um, it, it can be, but also you have to keep in mind that you're carrying this thing, which is a little bit heavier. So to me, I would rather carry a wider lens on the dance floor that allows me to capture more of the action and it's not going to be as heavy. So um, on that note, the next video that I'm going to be posting is a review comparing the Sigma 14 to 24 versus the Sigma 16 to 28 2.8. And those are two very good lenses. Uh, they're very, very similar and there is a price difference. And is it worth spending a little bit extra to get the 14 to 24? That's something that I'm going to go into uh, in the next video. That's pretty much everything that I want to go into as far as, you know, a year end review, as far as um, this lens, as far as build quality, you can see it's still still kicking. I'm about to go use it right now on a session and uh, I haven't scratched it, which that is a miracle on its own. Uh, because I don't front cap my lenses and I probably should, uh, but I don't, so it is what it is. Um, but that being said, I always leave my lens hood on because that has saved it a few times. Um, so build quality, really, really great. Uh, sharpness, again, really great. As you can see, some of the images that are scrolling through. Um, autofocus, low light, a lot of light, um, backlight, it's been you know, I, I really don't have any complaints on that end. All in all, a uh, very solid lens. I'm gonna stop it here because I don't wanna just keep rambling on. It's basically a reiteration of the previous video, but also with a year's worth of photos. I, and I'm talking about like 200,000 photos at least uh, shot on it to back it all up. Uh, not only that, I went on vacation last week to Miami and uh, no, I don't go to clubs and all that nonsense. So I wasn't carrying this around, you know, 
in, in what you think of Miami. We were just sightseeing, basically. Uh, and this is the only lens that I took. And I love that, that I didn't have to think, what, should I take the 70 to 200? That's too big. Should I take the 24 to 70? It, it was just, boom, this is the one that I'm taking. No brainer. That's all I took. Two 128 gigabyte cards, and that was it. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that in there that, you know, for like a travel lens, it, yes, it is a little bit bigger, it's a little bit heavier, but I can't think of anything else that I would carry in my bag. That's about it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know what videos you guys want to watch. Uh, like I said, the next one is going to be the 16 to 28 versus the 14 to 24. And then after that, I'm all ears. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to watch because I do want to post a lot more and I want to post things that you guys are actually enjoying and that you'll actually want to watch. So leave a comment. Let me know what you want to watch and I'll try to be as efficient as possible this year with posting more. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a happy new year. Thank you.